Hey guys, so the first thing I like to do when working with molds is using a silicone spray. I'll link it down, down below, it's from Amazon. So I'm just mixing up five ounces each of the artisan resin and hardener, the artisan epoxy, um, to make 10 ounces for this tray. I just like to use these little squeeze bottles. It makes it so much easier. So just mixing that up for about three minutes. I'm just pouring some off for my colors. Then I like to add a little bit into the bottom of the tray and then just rub it around with my glove and just make sure that I'm getting the whole surface and the sides so that we don't have any like little air bubbles. So a lot of times the air bubbles wanna to stick to the bottom of the silicone and they get trapped down there. So if you do this, it really helps get rid of the bubbles. Then mixing my colors and I don't know why the, my, the phone I was using to film like kept going in and out from yellow to like more blue but doing like a little bit of a gray color, just a tiny, tiny bit of color, uh, or the, the pigment paste. Then doing a little bit of this like blue color. I just wanted to add a tiny bit of blue to the tray, not much, but just a little bit. And I also mixed up a opal mica powder. Then adding more clear to the tray, and then another thing I like to do to really help with bubbles is to use a heat gun like throughout pouring the whole tray. So after every color or after every layer kind of thing, I just go in and move the epoxy around with the heat gun and it warms it up and gets rid of most of the bubbles. So then adding my gray just randomly, I had no like rhyme or reason to what I was doing, just throwing it in there. Then adding more clear. And I like to add color and clear at like kind of layer them. It kind of adds dimension and makes the color kind of suspended in the middle of the epoxy instead of just on top or underneath. Then just really going around with the heat gun and moving everything around and just really heating it up and getting out all of those little air bubbles. adding a little bit of the opal mica powder. Just like a tiny bit here and there. I just wanted to add like a little bit of that really pretty shimmer that it gives. Also adding just a tiny bit of this blue. I didn't want it to like look blue. I just wanted to give it a little bit of depth and like different color in there without adding too much so you can barely see it and by the time I blow it out and everything like it really doesn't look blue at all <laughs> adding a little bit more pearl gun to pop any last bubbles then I waited about 30 minutes and I wanted the silver flake to kind of be at the top if you did this when you were still pouring it would kind of sink down in the middle of the epoxy more so once it's set up a little bit and a little firmer you can kind of layer things and have them sit at the top more so I didn't really know what I was doing with this I was just putting it in and kind of creating little like veins or lines with it I just randomly.
you're going to take it out of the mold. A lot of times I like to finish the edges with like silver or gold or you know just do little things like that. I thought this looked really nice just by itself. It didn't I didn't feel like it needed an edge. So I left it at that and my little tray was done.